Welcome back, Collective. Welcome back to Gemini Line Gate for 88. Welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys. My name is Jenna. And again, I do divination here. So welcome, Collective. Welcome back. Thank you, everyone that's been viewing my channel. Your likes, your shares, your subscribes. It is super appreciative. And I just hope these messages are helping you. Please keep in mind that these are general messages, so only take what um, feels, sounds, situation, events are familiar to you. The rest leave for the next collective. We all have a familiar story, not a similar story. However, being the collective, especially my collective, I trust your intuition, so trust your own intuition. Remember, energy can be past, present, and future. Place it where you need to. Place it where you need to. Let's, uh, let's see here. What do I got here? I guess it was these. My plans were ruined this week because we. I live in Colorado and we got so much snow. Like, so um, up north, like I live south of Colorado, but up north in Colorado, it is crazy like they got like five feet of snow can you imagine like i'm five feet <laughs> it's five feet of snow so unfortunately my plans were ruined this weekend and you know so just shit happens but that's okay so next weekend i'm gonna not be here so but i still might take a break i, I honestly I, I think i still might take a break we'll see so um I enjoy doing your guys' videos, though, so I don't know. We will see. Um, what else was I going to say? I was going to say something. I was going to say something. Um, Archangel Michael's coming out. I'm going to do at least a few more videos before we choose another angel. Archangel Michael, I do invoke your divine guidance, your divine uh, protection. I ask you to come help me with these messages for the collective. Um, what messages do we need to hear? I really like these color oracle cards. Okay. Please protect my energy as well. Um, help me with, um, finding out what the collective needs to see here what kind of justice have they been they're going to get that not that so they could focus on it but they could rest easy and assure at night that um, the angels are fighting for them what signs do you want to leave them um and let them know if some of you guys um if you guys have light that dims in and out like if you guys are seeing lights like your light going in not like it turns off and on not the light switch but like the electricity goes on and off like it dims on and then back that's archangel michael for some of you guys just to let you know because he loves being in contact with humans he loves us humans he really does For some of you guys, if there was bad weather where you guys were at, it was actually a divine protection because he didn't want you guys to travel. He's actually... This might sound weird, but... If you guys smell donuts or someone baking or like something sweet, it smells like donuts. That could be Archangel Michael. Oh, isn't that that movie? That was that movie. Remember the movie Michael? And he would smell like baked cookies. Holy shit, I just totally thought about that. There was that movie Arch uh, with John Travolta. Because I smell like, and none of my candles are lit. I smell like bake or like i smell donuts that's weird so maybe some of you guys is the way so, something that will smell all you have to do is ask for his divine protection and he's here archangel michael 
If the collective is having a hard time praying or don't know how to communicate with you, I ask you to help whoever is watching this video, go protect them, show them guidance, show them signs. Um, not so that's way, because these are people that I'm talking to that are believers, but just why so they could just have a little bit more faith in what we are doing here to help them. I'm going to use these new oracle cards. These limmered, limmered. Okay, Archangel Michael, what divine guidance do we need to know right now? What is something that we need to hear about, know about, feel about? He also carries this sort of truth, you know? He, um... If some of you guys have been, there's like people lying on you. I noticed a lot of the readings, it has to do with like people lying on you guys or false allegations. That is going to be settled out in the ethers right now. So that means here in the next few weeks, maybe a month, maybe some of you guys I'm seeing even by next spring. Could we get paid extra if we clean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daughter. <laughs> They're gonna, they're, I'm helping, they're helping me with the babies, so. They're helping if I pay them, right? <laughs> they're like, so whatever. Um, hey, at least, you know, I, it teaches them. This king of hearts keeps coming out. I don't know who this is. This is either you, I don't know, some of you listen. I feel like some of you guys, Archangel Michael's out here to uh, bring you love. Look at this. This person can ride a motorcycle. He have a um a beard like a white beard. The rider. Nine of hearts. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Archangel. Why does this King of Hearts keep coming out in this reading? This is a very um emotional, mature male. Um, he's very generous. He could have a temper if he wants to, though. That's the thing. Um, I just saw the hearts. What up? What's up? What's up with this? Um, let's roll the dice. Okay, what's up with this king of hearts? Four. This is something I told you, your ancestors, your blood ties. This is someone that um, you can have a family with. This, I feel like, maybe this is someone you're related to. Is this King of Hearts someone that the collective is re related to? Hold on, let me see for. Mm -mm. This is an individual that's really has a lot of ancestral knowledge. They give thanks to their ancestors. With the fourth house, is like um, his ancestors are very protective of this King of Cups. Just say this. Your family member might know him, like someone that you're related to. Joker, spades, a child. This is someone that you might have a child with. Or you're going to have a child with. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's cool. They came up with a little book. I didn't think they did. General meaning, the beginning of a new path filled with uh, a prospect of the dynamic unburdened, or urban environment. Personal meaning, joy, naivety, bright plans for the future, meeting with family, children, or news about pregnancy. Love meaning, sincere feelings, falling in love, children joy for spending time together, potentially news about pregnancy, pregnancy planning, 
financial meaning, the start of a new project, easy attitude towards money, potential flourish approach to obligation, lack of enthusiasm of new... Well, was it in reverse? I didn't know we could do reversals here. Let's do this again. Sorry, my bad. They have reverse. I don't use reversals in the Limerd. But this is Limerd Urban Oracle cards. Uh, Limerd. I think I always say it wrong. Holy Spirit, Archangel. Um, what is going on with this King of Cups this week? He keeps coming out in this reading. There it is. The heart. I told you. <laughs> This person likes you. They're a lot. He could be a cancer. Heavy because the King of Cups could be a heart. It's like he could be a cancer collective. Really. He really truly can. Cause he is um he is um they're so loud. My balls are so paper thin. He's very, um, like I said, generous and loving, could be short-tempered. He could maybe even look like this dude. He might buy you a big old balloon heart maybe for Valentine's Day. The Jack of Hearts. This person is continuously thinking of you. And he's been coming on my readings all week. So let's... Okay, he could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, def definitely a, maybe a water sign, maybe a Taurus. This person is your ancestors, the fourth house and the fourth house. Your ancestors are bringing you two together, okay? Now that you have some type of financial stability, your second house is like, okay, secure. It's time for you to, with the Scorpio energy, this is like going to be a rebirth for you here, Okay? Four, six, seven, you cleanse, you're you guys are both mentally well, physically well. You guys are like this is this is like you guys are ready for each other. Whoever I'm talking to, a divine feminine, this or I'm talking to this divine masculine, this divine masculine, you this king of cups, whoever you are, you are ready to offer uh, your love to someone here. And it is about and yes, this is being guided by your ancestors. Okay. So yeah, this King of Hearts is has um with the Jack of Hearts here. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's white, but it says the Jack of Hearts. Okay, this person is de these are definitely different than the um, Gypsy fortune telling cards. Okay, just want to keep that in mind. If you're studying all this stuff, um, can you please keep in mind that the the Len Lenmard or Mad. Okay. They're, the way they place the things on their cards, on their playing deck cards, is very different than the Gypsy fortune telling cards. Just to let you know. Um, but yeah, this individual is, yeah, this is really the heart. Actually, this is really cool. It comes with the book. Someone could be 24, born on the 24th. Maybe I'm seeing July 24th. Maybe. This is a love reading. This is a love reading, collective. You have a very generous man, and this man is can't stop thinking of you. <clears throat> The card of love, romance and passion in the vibrant urban setting, an acquaintance with a significant other, elevating relations and improving the family atmosphere, delight, joy, happiness, harmony, falling in love and experiencing romanticism in an urban lifestyle. Love meaning a favorable period for relationships, understanding, idyllic, idyllic moments, overall harmony with a partner, with finances, satisfying uh, satisfaction from work, Potential love affair at work, career advancement, and praise for the quality of work. This individual is someone that you could have worked with. Okay. Are you guys going to work together? Now that you guys are fan, I, yeah, I like this guy. I like him. So he has feelings for you. Five of hearts again. This is a love reading collective. This is a love reading. Five of hearts again, dude. Five of hearts mean, um, there's so many meanings. Do you guys want to see who this king of hearts is? See what birthdays he has? Let's see what birthday he has. Could give you kind of a clue. 
because I know some of my divine feminines don't you lie because I know I'm ready for love if I'm ready for love there is a collective that's ready for love I just know it okay you have been so busy working on your guys' self, okay? It's time for you guys to experience true love, okay? Why? Because you deserve true love, collective. You deserve a loving, generous fucking man. Plain and simple, okay? Because I, from doing your guys' readings, doing the collective readings, doing my readings, dude, last year, the collective had a hard time with love. There was a lot of people that were getting involved in between our love affairs. We had a lot of people that were getting ghosted. People lost uh, twin flame connections. It is time, okay? Now that Archangel Michael is per like getting all that energy cleared out of your space, it is time for love, okay? This person's birthday could be born, he could be born December 18th, November 20th, October 22nd, September 24th, August 26th, July 28th, and June 30th. That would make him a cancer, June 30th. He could be born in July or July, no, July 30th. He would be a Leo. August, um, he could be a Can or and a Scorpio though too. Listen, so he could be born uh, August 28th, September 26th. No, okay, October 24th. So that could be Scorpio, October 24th right november 22nd december 20th december 26th november 29th the scorpio at the end no or October 30th. So he can be born at the end of October. I feel like he's a water sign. They're gonna sit him on the potty. <laughs> I paid my daughter and her friend to watch the baby. They're actually gonna sit him on the potty. That is so funny. <laughs> Do you hear that? too cute <laughs> i'm so sorry but that is too cute yeah they're i'm giving them like ten dollars a piece dude this is cute anyways the trip that's completing you will have happy endings you an unpleasant event may soon cause you to take a trip which will make you very happy at this end so there's gonna be a reason why you're gonna travel but there this is like maybe you might have to travel for a funeral i don't know this is sad i don't want to think of that but what's this unpleasant event here? Or this person, five of clubs. Five of clubs. Let's see if they put his diaper back on right. Be a male or fan, you're happy, Disappoint, uh, disposition, you take, your, uh, take you far because your smiles are pleasing. Laughing in your daily life helps you and others and hope which you now have in the mind that may come true soon. So laughing in your daily life helps you and others. Any hope which you now have in mind may come true soon. So the fact that you have this pleasant energy, I'm sorry, they're so loud, but the fact that you have this pleasant energy, like, it's funny though, and you smile, you're optimistic, this you might have this individual might have a nice smile, you might have a nice smile, okay? Is gonna bring um something that you've been working on. Five and six. Look at this. Five and six. Something's moving forward. Yeah. The fact that you're like working on your ideas and like the wands talk about uh clubs talks about action. So you're doing something here. Okay, you put in your ideas and, and you're, you're working on something here. And five to six tells me you're moving forward sooner than you think. Heather. Um, 
Yeah. We might need another diaper. He took off it. Okay, it's up that. there by the by on top of the counter. Try letting him use the pod. Okay, Sky, they're on top of the counter. You he know literally what? took off his diaper by himself. Okay. That's good. That means he needs to sit on the potty. Good job, girls. Do you not change your present uh, occupation? Do not change your present occupation. An unknown factor may develop soon. For, uh, the, uh, for there are many opportunities where you are. If you're a single girl, do not give up on going out with a young man whom you now favor. So, yeah, there's someone that this person could be younger than you. Um, this is someone that you definitely could work with. Don't change your occupation. You might be actually meeting someone at your job. Or if you are um, like a single business person or like what I'm doing, like stay at home and someone, this is going to lead an opportunity for success for you here. And you might be favorable to a younger man here, okay? Just saying, you go, you go, you go, collect it. <laughs> okay. If you're married, okay, but if you're married, do not disturb uh, disturb by recent disputes with your um, husband. So if you're married, don't fight with your husband. He's in this loving energy here. He's a king of hearts, okay? He's um, going to help you whatever you're working on at your job. He's going to help you in life with success. He's going to help you move forward. So don't disrupt it by any arguments, okay? All your troubles will iron themselves out shortly. So if you're fighting with your husband, don't worry. Just kind of keep a smile on your face. Remember that feeling of being optimistic. Things are moving here for you. If you're single, you might be favoring a younger man here. The nine of spades. Coffin. Eight. So, yeah, you might have to go visit. You might. This is weird. So, either um, you might have to travel to go to a funeral. For This is for some of you guys. Um... Hmm. Coffin, the end of one urban life period, bidding farewell to the past and embracing a transformative phase, closure, destruction of outdated roles and moving forward. I told you this means that you're moving forward. Okay. Transformation of personality and a period of introspecting and emotional challenges associated with, uh, with, uh, parting, parting so yeah you're moving forward don't change what you're doing okay here because you transformed a lot here facing disappointments in a partner a challenging period of loneliness and need for emotional healing so again you guys went through this phase where you guys were um you had to be alone maybe this king of cuffs has to be alone for a little bit so keep working Third house, um, a Gemini could be involved, or you're a Gemini, or someone's trying to attack your third house here, or Archangel Michael's helping you with your third house with communication, with information, negative, navigating a difficult period of stagnation, financial loss, and change in status. So the fact that you are moving forward here, there's a lot of moving here, five, six, to the nine of pentacles you're moving forward to being self-sufficient and free and single to have abundance because this is on the upright is because you transformed here there's someone transforming after a, a um after a person passed away Let me go check on the girls. I hear grandpa yelling at them.
you girls were having issues out here. Okay, why don't we? Okay, why are we? Okay. Yeah, the other one's been better. This is funny. Uh, anyways, I'm sorry. My nose is all runny now. Yeah, there's something. Anyways, something, when my nose starts running or it starts itching, I wonder what that means. You had a lot of transformation here. There's a lot of things that are ending in your life. But there's also a lot of things that you don't, shouldn't allow to end. Like, whatever your occupation is, don't do it. Whatever. But this is like if you are in something that you love doing, right? Things are going to be smoothing out here because of this transformation. So the coffin isn't bad here when it comes because it's on the upright. You could be a fire sign. Um, it's kind of, she's like, she's so loud. You could be born like, hmm, I don't want to focus too much on birthdays, but December 9th, November 11th, October 13th. September 15th, August 17th, July 19th, June 21st, May 23rd, April 25th, March 27th, and February 29th. You could be a Gemini or have Gemini in your chart. Whatever you're doing, it's like this energy slow and steady wins the uh, win the race. You're definitely working on your transformation here. Five and six, you're moving forward here quite a bit. Six of spades to the seven of wands. Five, six, seven. Look. Collective, you are moving forward here. Five, six, seven. Literally with the wands, you're moving forward. Like, you literally could be walking away from something or you did walk away from something or something walked away from you. But remember, the word of the week is rejection is our protection. So even if someone walked away from you, it was good that they did because this is how you move forward. This is how this allowed you to move forward and is going to and is bringing you to this king of hearts. Or if I'm talking to this king of hearts, this, you have love on your mind. And the fact that, you know, you're transforming after a loss here and you're um, moving forward here steadily is going to bring you to a divine feminine. Someone, whoever you are thinking of. Okay, because you're moving forward towards somebody here. You are. It's the, Jack of hearts tells me this king of uh, hearts has someone on his mind heavily. Forget your pride and write the letter to someone you expect. Do this at once and you will profit by them thereby. So someone needs to drop their pride and write and message you already. Like, I'm telling you, it's very slow moving energy. Your progress is positive for this is said by be a lucky card. Yep. Seven. Learn what you may you 
affirm your background will be a factor in your future position. Just as this is a good card for men as for women, financially freedom is in the sight for both married and unmarried women. Grasp every opportunity that presents itself shortly. Keep doing what you're doing, collective. Seriously, it's going to open a door here for you, okay? So say if you started a YouTube channel, okay, or you started something on social media, or you went back to school, this is, you're using your background, you're using your life lessons, you're using, like, say, if, um, for example, I'll just use me, so, like, I have a background, of, I'm a recovering addict, so I'm going back to school, you know, I have a lot of issues, so I might want to work with women that have, have domestic violence, I might want to work with addicts, does that, does that make sense? You got a lot going on here besides this king of cups i don't know what i did with the cards uh. what did i do with them did i take them out there really weird. I don't know what I just did with the deck of cards. I was helping. I don't know. That is so weird, though. What the heck did I just do with them? That's so weird. Huh? That's gonna bother me. What the heck did I just do with those cards? Did, did you guys see what I did with those cards? No. Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Well, what the hell did I just do with them? Ten of clubs? Jeez. Ten in spades. Mm -hmm. Ten, ten. Something's being completed here. And ten, ten, twenty. There's a lot of divine order here being put in place. There's a lot of completions, a lot of things that the death card right underneath the coffin, like things are like, there's so many phases in your life collective that ended. This is the reason why you have such a uh, five, six, seven, so much movement forward. You have like the seven hearts. This is an extremely good lucky card. Okay, money and pros uh, position of power will come to you at the man if he will work for them. A good home and child then will come for the women for whom they this card turns up. So you're taking care of your business. You're taking care of uh, your house. What's this ten of spades though? Watch your step carefully. Danger and unhappiness may overtake you. Look out for accidents. Keep smiling and it will turn out event will eventually. You got me. You need some protection from this. This is why you need to pray to Archangel Michael with the Ten of Spades. Because I don't think individuals are getting that the phase of them betraying you is over. Like, there's no more. Oh, the card's right here in front of my face. There's no more betrayals here. What's this betrayals, Holy Spirit, Archangel? The moon. Eight. There's definitely a Scorpio here. The Eight of Hearts to the King of Wands. Hmm. Clouds. Listen, there is definitely... Let me read what this says. I know what the... They, you had a, a king of cloud, okay? A king of wands in your energy, or this could be a past lover that's still holding to a lot of secrets here. They're on the upright, but let's see. What number? Eight. Hmm. 
Representing emotions, dreams, creativity, intuition, and the dynamic urban environment. A state of creative inspiration, mystery, and reliance on intuition. Strong attraction between partners, romantic relationships, and a dreamy, imaginative dates in the city. Manifesting a creativity in work, attention from a female environment, and rely on intuition for financial decisions. Listen, I'm telling you right now, you're in a field where there's a lot of women. There's a lot of women in the whatever field you're in. And there's going to be a lot of um, competition. Or there's a lot of women that put you in a competition. Because I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you attract men a lot. Like, you could get a lot of grief at your workplace because all the men at your workplace, married or not, they are attracted to you. And so the, your coworkers, your female coworkers, don't like you because of that. Okay? Um, there's some clouds here, though, at the end. Oh, yeah, see, navigating through a temporary difficulties, conflicts, moments of anxiety in the urban landscape, an unpleasant period that will soon pass. So there's some type of experiencing doubt, disharmony, and ambiguity in personal matters, temporary misunderstanding, conflicts between partners, leading to loss of trust, ambiguity of financial situation, obstacles to goals, and potential losses. Dude, there's been some... Okay, is this king of clubs? This is a man that could be hasty. Is this king of clubs the same as this king of hearts? Mm -mm. You have a king of wands that you used your intuition for. This king of clubs, he's going through a lot right here. He could go to like concerts a lot or he likes to party a lot or something. Is my son outside? Hold on, I collect it. <laughs> I know they wouldn't let him outside by himself. Hold on. Let me go see. Make sure the girls. If you're new here. Yeah. Welcome to my channel. I'm a single mom. <laughs> I'm a single mom. Hold on. my other baby that was outside my molly girl she came to the window she's all mm -hmm. she's i got dogs i got kids i got my my daughter's 10 so she always has friends over i'm a mom i'm a mom but i i was trying to get you guys some quick messages here so let's see here you definitely got a king of wands that's going through a lot here i don't know who that dude is um I got a uh, Libra energy at the seventh house. There's something to do with relationships here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Aquarius energy, a social group. What's up with this um, clouds and this king of clubs? Holy Spirit, Archangel. What else do we need to know? What's going on with the energy right now? Because it's weird. There's like um, a king of hearts that is thinking of you. You're moving forward here with success. There's an ending for a king of wands. This could be a very prideful man. This is a man that needs to drop his a pride and write you already or message you already, but they don't want to. Two of wands because they were indecisive about you, my queen of wands. There you are. Yeah, you definitely are a businesswoman. You're definitely about, yeah, seven of swords. This uh, person stole from you. That's why. Whatever this king of wands is in your life. Very prideful, arrogant. Maybe even like a playboy, very charming. Lovers, Queen of Wands, lovers. Gemini, fire signs, my Gemini Leos, what's up? 
What's going on with the collective's energy right now? The hermit. Yeah, you are in isolation here. <laughs> Taking your spiritual baths, cleansing your energy, doing me time, self-care. Soul searching. Okay. You've uh, reached enlightenment here through meditation and your spiritual. You could do a lot of like thinking in the bathtub. I do too. That's like when I get, you like your bath times. You definitely too. This is when you can find soul searching here. It's the two of swords. You can make your own soap even. There's like a choice that has to happen here. A decision. A decision here. Two of swords. What's this two of swords? Someone was indecisive of how to, I, strength. So you made the choice. You made this inner strength here, this this choice. You made the right choice here. Even though it was hard, it was a hard choice, and you had to find the confidence and the courage to do it, you isolated yourself. It wasn't an easy decision for you to go into this hermit mode. Let me tell you. You could definitely be a Leo, a Vertigo, um, a Gemini. I'm talking to my Gemini Leos. You definitely are, um, it wasn't easy. I could tell you that. What's the T? It wasn't easy. It was not easy for you to do this, but you did it. So, and now that you have this knowledge, you're also, I feel like you're going to have to make a choice there again. Another choice. To choose strength, to choose inner strength here. Okay. Wasting time, stuck, no changes, limit, limited. That's going to go with the two of swords. Stuck, no changes, limited. Like someone is stuck, wasting time. Someone didn't know how to choose to, to cleanse their energy. Well, you did. Someone is stuck, no changing. Someone might actually like to collect watches or they like to have a grandfather watcher. Wasting time. This is what the two of swords represent. Wasting time, trying to make a decision, stuck. So stuck, no changes, and they're limiting themselves, causing a stalemate. Someone knows that you know something, I feel like. So, or someone feels like you know something, so they're very hesitant. What's this hermit? Legal issues, court, judge, immigration, lawyers, etc. There's some type of legal issue here that's been investigated. The hermit. There's a legal issue that's being investigated, being researched. The legal system is trying to discover something here. Well, someone else was just wasting time here. Someone is really wasting time trying to make a decision because time ran out for this person. Why? Because literally the hermit, they're being investigated. The court, the judges, Immigration, lawyers, legal issues. Someone's having legal issues because they're being investigated. This person's wasting time trying to make a decision when it comes to strength. To have the courage. Uninterested. Someone is uninterested in your strength. Someone is just uninterested at um, finding the strength. To find courage. Wasting time. Stuck. No changes. Someone's going through a lot of legal issues. Um, if not, they better be prepared for these legal issues because what the hermit tells me, they're being investigated right now. Because they made a choice, a blinded choice here to cause a stalemate, to limit themselves because they were uninterested in your strength. They underestimated your strength. Someone was uninterested at finding inner strength here. 
So all they did was wasted time, and now they're being investigated for these legal issues. That just took a turn, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's that King of Wands. Holy Spirit, Archangels, what's this hermit? And then what's going on in the ethers about this legal investigation? Or this legal investigation? Ten of Swords! Someone could be a seamstress or they, I don't know, someone tried to stab you, pin you. Maybe someone tried to use voodoo dolls. There's a betrayal here. Someone, whoever, this is a major betrayal. This is a ending here. Someone could have done something very vicious to you and now they're being investigated. Whew, yeah, the, the ethers know about this, um, this betrayal and now someone is being investigated here. They're going to have a lot of legal issues right now. The courts know about it. They're researching it right now. Whatever this Ten of Swords is. Damn. What's this Ten of Swords? Because someone made a really bad choice here. Blinded choice. Someone was blinded by it. And they, well, they couldn't make a decision. What's this Ten of Swords? What, what was this betrayal? Now I'm all interested in this shit. Someone tried to end you here. Eight of Wands. Someone did something with messages. Someone tried to block messages. Someone was trying to block downloads from the ethers down here. Someone was trying to slow you down. Stagnation. Uh, what else? What's this Eight of Wands? To the Three of Wands. There is like some premeditated. Something was, this is premeditated betrayal. This is a pre, this is like. If it was spell work, the ethers are sending that back. This is why this investigation is. Someone did something with uh, messages here. It was like premeditated messages online. To try to end you. Wow. Photo proof. Getting evidence. What's this Ten of Swords? Child service. Kids at risk of being taken or is about reporting something, neglect or abuse. Someone call child services on you. Or CPS is involved here. China, CPS was involved at trying to end you? Child services betrayed you? What? Now, this, now these uh, people that work at child services are going through a lot. Uh, legal issues, being investigating, wasting time. It was uninterested at, that you had strength. They're in trouble for these messages, these, these messages here. Boss daddy. Stable, rich, business owner, CEO, big dick energy. This is like a boss daddy. This is like a boss that works at a child services this person is going through a lot of stagnation because of messages here there's some type of premeditated messages that cps have and it's about this betrayal this is why they're being investigated damn premeditated three of wands they thought this was gonna go through they really did they really thought this was gonna this was a good plan right karmic friends can't fully trust them tension secret competition Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. These were karmic friends that were in weird secret competition with you. These are individuals that could have called CPS on you, work at CPS, did something here to try to take your children away from you so you could go through these endings. So they told, this is, could have been your boss. This could be your boss, your ex-boss. Regret sending these messages out because now everything is slowing down for them in a major way. Them and your karmic friends are their karmic friends. They really, this is a premeditated, karmic friends had pre, uh, premeditated plan here to slow you down by taking away your children. But now they're being investigated for it. Hermit, they're being investigated here and they're going to have legal issues for it. Why? Because they wasted their goddamn time, stuck on you, don't want to change, couldn't make a decision, and were un 
interested in your strength. Unestimated your strength here. So if you were involved with CPS, this is your reading. This is your reading. CPS fucked up here somehow. Page of Wands. Someone is still trying to act on this betrayal. Someone is like not being cautious here. The devil. This person is uh, needs to drop some type of obsession. Needs to drop some type of vices. Because things are slowing down for them in a major way. Whoever this boss daddy is. I feel like it's a female. Okay. And their karmic friends. She's very aggressive. Whoever this person is. She could be a Capricorn. To the king of pentacles in reverse. So they got some gold digger guy to be uninterested in you. To, to not make a decision on you. But this guy is like a low life uninterested to find your courage to find your inner strength and beauty these are karmic friends that plan this so someone is trying to make some small little action here to drop some type of uh, toxic behaviors drama starter this is a drama starter a drama starter is trying to make a very small action here a drama starter, whoever this boss daddy person is and their friends, they're going through a lot of legal issues for this calling child support on you. Mm. Maybe they call child support. They call child services on you to get your kids taken away. You show these people uninterested energy and um you're just uninterested with these people what they had to do what they had to say and because you were very strong in this situation some a drama starter is trying to drop some type of toxic behavior here vices love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic because they know that this king of pentacles in reverse might have love on the brain or you <laughs> you you got over some addiction here. So say if someone tried to call you on child, like child support on you, they couldn't get you for, uh, or sorry, why do I keep saying child support? Say if someone calls you on CPS on you to betray you, it didn't happen. Whoever this drama starter did this, they did this very aggressively without thinking, hasty. And the reason why is because you got over your vices. You don't use drugs anymore. You don't use alcohol anymore because you got love on the brain. Someone could have red hair. Cult, uh, cult hungry. Say anything, does anything to make shit happen up. Dra dramatic. This king of pentacles was involved in this. Okay? We make shit anything up for, for clout. Clout chasing. Clout hungry. Clout hungry. We'll say anything to make shit up. This per this King of Pentacles, whoever he is, he has, he actually has, he thinks about you. This is someone that you were in love with, but you, there's a contract broker. So it's like you, your baby daddy worked with CPS to try to betray you, but they couldn't because you're not an addict. You got over some type of addiction or vices. And they were very, this drama maker was very, they did this without thinking. They just, they just did. They didn't, they did without, and now they got legal issues. Now they got legal issues. Riley served. What happened in the past? I'm going to make this short because my kids. What happened in the past? Five of Pentacles. Someone left you on the cold. So you became successful. I told you. You got out of some type of financial uh, struggles here. You got from being poor to mastering your skill. And you did this by mastering a skill, your craft. You could, you know, be an antiquer or something. You mastered your skills here. Inside scoop, closer look, nosy, up in your business. So in the past, someone was really up in your business, wanted the inside scoop about your five of pentacles. Like, how are you getting out of these resources? What resources were you taking? If you went to child support, they were not going to help you. 
because they have friends that work in child support that were going to go against you. Someone was all up in your business while you're working on a skill here. I like these cards. These are actually cool. Kissing ass. Kissing ass. Someone was really kissing ass trying to master a craft here. Trying to see... Um, Kissing ass so that they could achieve and look like they were a master at whatever they were doing. When this person is very fucking nosy. Trying to keep you in some type of Five of Pentacles energy. I gotta get going, my kid. Hey, what's going on? Five of so or four of swords. Someone's feeling uneasy. Yeah, someone was kissing ass to become a master at their craft here. Being nosy. When it comes six of cups, these are past friends, past people, past haters, people that are just from your past that were just hating on you. Six of cups, making bad memories to the nine of pentacles. Hating there, these people hate on you in the future. Why? Because again, you transform into the Nine of Pentacles energy. You went from the Five of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. And you got someone that was kissing ass here, trying to get the scoop, seeing how you went from the Five of Pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So you have someone in your energy that's really fucking nosy or they're trying to go around your family, trying to get the scoop how you went from the Five, Eight, Nine. These are past haters, groups of friends. These are these karmic friends here. That get try to get you set up with DSS and now they're going through a lot of legal issues. Threaten, intimidated, threaten, bothered. These karmic friends and this big daddy motherfucker who are boss ba boss daddy, these people are threatened by you. Threatened by you in the future because here you are living a luxury life. They're like, how the fuck? We we try to end them, but they couldn't end you. Because you had love on the brain. You were loving yourself. Dropping your vices. You were sober. These people thought you had something toxic and you didn't. So they thought it was going to be easy to do this premeditated call child services on you. So they could get your children taken away from you. So that's how you could feel betrayed. But they didn't. it didn't happen, did it? No. Because this big daddy boss thing, when the minute they did that, shit started slowing down for them. And their karmic friends. And their karmic friends. That now are being the hermit to legal issues. Now they're being investigated. And they're going to have a lot of legal issues. Wasting time. And you're just uninterested. But you're having strength. You're just uninterested with this drama starter. Page of Swords. Page of uh, Wands. This is a drama starter. Someone that does something. Did an immature act here. Clout chasing. Clout hungry. We'll say anything to make shit up. That's your baby daddy right there. Was working with these karmic friends or individuals to get you set up with child support. Anything, anything. These are losers. While well, you're single, self-sufficient, and free, living a luxury life with your money. Five, you went from five to the eight to now in the future to the nine. Come on through, spirit. A lot of moving forward here. Six of swords, and guess what? Someone can have a collection of knives. You will walk away and hit someone with a goddamn uh, ponzuela. There, uh, Pam. <laughs> smack these people over there. There could be three women that you just smack them with a ponzuela and you're walking away. Say, bye, bitches. You're walking away from these karmics. Some of these are getting away scot-free with something and they're heartbroken. Come on through, spirit. They are heartbroken that you got away. Heartbroken, these karmic friends and boss daddy. Heartbroken that you got away. Why? Because you're the motherfucking magician. You make shit happen. 
You have the resources. You got all the resources in the world, the spiritual resources, and your manifestations are coming in. And these people are heartbroken over it that you got away. Someone thought by calling CPS was on you was going to really fuck you up, but they were wrong. Same shit, different story, different day, same shit, different day. You walk away. These people are just so pissed off that you get to walk away. These are groupies. These are kiss-assing groupies. That nothing is changing in their life and they're watching you walk away. Heartbroken. Groupies are going through breakups. They're heartbroken. Ain't shit. These bitches ain't shit compared to you, Collective. Why? Because you're the magician. You are a master manifester and these bitches don't got shit on you. You went from the five to the eight to the nine in like that because you are a man of, you're a master manifester. These bitches don't got shit on you, collective, at all. What's outside influences? What is influencing? Yeah, ten of wands. Enough is enough. Your ideas are coming to life. And these people, these jealous individuals are losing jobs. Their plans are ruined. Okay? Someone could, someone from child social service could be losing a job here. All right? You're like, enough is enough. You got new opportunities here. And everyone, this is like other people see this. These karmic friends were queen of wands. These were karmics. Jealous women putting themselves in secret competition with you. And now, they got nothing going on. They're being considered like, people look at these individuals as like, Groupies, lazy, indignant, not responsible, okay? Because you said enough is enough and you started moving forward here. You got a new beginning here. Enough is enough. You said no more. Enough is enough. What's this enough is enough? Enough is enough. Come on through. You dust it off. You dropped your burdens. Come on through, spirit. Ten of wands in reverse. You dust it off. You dust those haters off like this. That's how you dust those haters off, creator, or create a collective. These karmic friends and this boss daddy, you're just all boom, boom, bye, bitches. Got away, Scott Free. You dust the haters off here because enough is enough. And that gave you a new opportunity here. And all these groupies, these boss daddies are going through legal issues right now. unbothered come on through spirit you're just unbothered here unbothered just you don't care you dust it off unbothered moving forward in your new opportunity and your new ideas come on through spirit and while these queen of wands these jealous groupies karmic friends that were trying to get you set up with dss now are being investigated for it everyone sees them as jealous everyone's reflecting on these bitches Everyone's sitting here. There could even be like a spiritual leader. Everyone's reflecting on these, these Queen of Wands. Like, everyone is like really reflecting about these, these karmic friends and what they did and how they try to get you set up with CPS here. Knight of Pentacles. Now these people feel like their lives are ruined. They feel like their lives are ruined here by doing this. Damn, collective. Bad karma, death, endings. These karmics and bosses that wanted to, these are either individuals that work for child services or they call child services on you. Now they're going through legal issues. They're losing jobs. They're being seen as irresponsible and have bad karma because people are reflecting on these queen, these jealous individuals. People know that they're just jealous of you. <laughs> that they're just hating on you and you just dust them off and you're unbothered by them. I like these cards. These are what? What's the hope here? What's the hope? This queen of cups in reverse, she could be the leader of it. This is a water sign, maybe a Cancer, or Pisces, or Scorpio. She's very moody, very emotionally manipulative. Was hoping she could get away with this rebelling, this... uh rebel against you hoping they could um take this hasty action against you hoping that something energetically will happen here fast forcers forces things on you forces their way in 
Wait in. Uses force to get what they want. This is what the Knight of Swords represent. This Queen of Cups was trying to force themselves into your energy. With this King of Pentacles and this... Um, Who's this, uh, who's this king, who's this? So you have a queen of wands. Queen of wands could be a Gemini. Who's this king of pentacles? Could be a vertigo. Who's this uh, queen of cups? Could be an Aries. <laughs> who's this queen of cups also? Uh, Leo <clears throat> to a vertigo. Who's this queen of wands? Well, let's see here. Who's this queen of wands? Six, six, Gemini, Gemini, vertigo. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Sagittarius, a Leo, a Gemini, seven, a Libra. Who's this King of Pentacles? Four, four, a Scorpio. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, a Sagittarius. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, an Aquarius. Caught on, you say anything to make shit up. So whoever this Queen of, uh, Cups is moody, emotional, was a forcer. Trying to force their way into your energy, okay? So they could slice you up there. Hoping that they could do this. What's the fear? What's the fear? And then I gotta finish up because my kids are probably like, what the hell, mom? Six of Pentacles. Someone's afraid of you getting a gift, something being given to you. The hangman. Some, someone's afraid of a gift returning back to you. Yeah, someone's afraid that the gift is going to return back to you, maybe from a husband. Because they know this is what's going to help drive you, free, move you forward. Someone's a, afraid of a gift getting back to you. Someone giving to you. Always parting. Always parting. These people party a lot. Their biggest fear is that they could always party or that you'll always be partying. Broke asses. Always partying a lot. Broke asses. Screenshots. Getting evidence. Proof. Facts. There are screenshots. Evidence here that these broke asses always party. Okay. That they, they, their people are, there's like something new. There's like fresh eyes here that these people are partying with your gift and they're afraid that they're going to be seen because they were not cautious when it came to your six of pentacles. Like this is a gift, like something was supposed to be given to you. This is going to be the outcome. Seven of cups, something's awakened. The illusions are broke here to the seven of swords. Uh, this actually one came in reverse about a thief. People are awakened and a thief is exposed. Some type of fraud is something here is exposed. Liars, thieves, cheaters. So your finances are going to be balanced out. Someone also knows that you are being juggled to the page of cups, a child. So something for a child is going to be balanced out here. To the three of pentacles that someone didn't want to communicate with the child. Queen of swords, there you are. My queen of swords, my, my true speakers, listen. Someone in the future is still not wanting to communicate with you, still doesn't want to help you with your child. But that's okay because you got shit like on point. You're handling your business. You don't need whoever this king of pentacles is. You don't need him to help you with your child. You don't care. But someone's still not communicating with you and your child. Why? Because they're being exposed as a thief. Everyone knows that there's something awakening here. They're going through a lot. What's this Seven of Cups? Someone's awakened for the fact why someone wasn't messaging you and a child. No facts. Never have their facts. Make shit up. Lies. Someone's awake. Someone's awakened to someone's lies. Someone knows that someone has no facts. Whoever this these thieves are, whoever these liars are that are being exposed here in the future. Fake flexing, acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off. So these people were stealing money. Fake flexing, or they pretend that they had money. They were acting rich, flossing, when they're broke asses. They're being exposed for this in the future. 
people are being exposed that they don't got money, that they're flake fixing, they don't got facts. People are awakened. What's this two of pentacles? Bankrupt. Whoever juggled you is going to have to claim bankrupt. Whoever whoever juggles you, Queen of Swords, has to go bankrupt. What's this child? There's something about a child here. Hooked. Well, someone actually is hooked on you here. Hooked? Someone, because Page of Cups could represent someone's feelings. Someone, you hook someone's feelings here. And they're still not going to be messaging you, though, in the future. Wow, what's this? Three of Pentacles in reverse. Moving on. Thank you. Next. So someone in the future is still hooked on you having these like secret emotions about you, but it doesn't matter. You're going to be, you're all next. You're moving on. You're not going to message. You're not giving a shit if this person is messaging or you are not. Why? Because you're a true speaker. Okay. Karmic slayer will cut a karmic out with your rose uh, garden uh, scissors. You will cut a motherfucker out. You will cut any, you cut these, sh ooh, wolves and sheep clothing. You spoke the truth about these people being flexors, having fake money, liars, played out, who are played out. These wolf and sheep clothings are played out, or this queen of swords is, take out a resonates, it could be a Libra, who were sheep clothing played out. Anyways, I hope the messages helped. Till next time, bye.